Hey everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today we're going to be uh, predicting the AL East, uh, all the AL, AL East MLB teams uh, starting lineups for on opening day for the MLB 2023 season. All right, and before we get into the video, please remember to like this video, uh, leave your feedback in the comments, and please most of all subscribe so we can get to our goal of 900 subscribers. And then after that, uh, we're trying to get to 1,000 subscribers by April 1st of this year. So please uh, help me get that uh, get there, and let's get into the video. Okay, so first the Orioles, uh, and I'll be giving a grade on the team after I go through the lineup. So you can pause the video at any time, and here we go. So leading off for the Orioles, I have Cedric Mullins in center field. Uh, then Gunnar Henderson, top prospect in baseball at second. Then Adley Rutschman, catcher, at in at third, adding third. Then Anthony Santander, he hit like 32, 33 home runs uh, this past year in, at, in right. Then Ryan Mountcastle at first, Austin Hayes in left, Ramon Arias, uh, third base, gold glove, uh, at third. Uh, Kyle Stowers at DH, um, Jorge Mateo at shortstop, and starting pitcher on opening day, John Means. I gave them a B minus because I think maybe a, they could be a B, but um, they still have to figure out a bunch of pitching. They've secured the offense and it'll just continue to get better because of all of their prospects, but they need to lock down the pitching and rotation and thought that was going to happen this off season, but uh, they didn't manage to make it happen. Okay. Next team is the Red Sox. The Red Sox are an interesting team because even though they lost, uh, Xander Bogarts to the Padres, they still are a contending team. Probably not for the playoffs, but they're still a scary team if you look. Oh, yeah, so the lineup right now I have, in my opinion, um, is uh, batting leadoff, Masataka Yoshida, um, NPB star uh, in right, uh, Chris Arroyo at second, former Giants prospect there, uh, Rafael Devers at third base, um, then Alex Verdugo hitting cleanup and left. Uh, Justin Turner at first base from acquired from the Dodgers this offseason. Um, Kike Hernandez at DH. Adalberto Mondesi acquired from the Royals at, uh, playing short. Bobby Dalbeck at in center and Connor Wong at catcher. And then starting pitcher of Chris Sale. I gave them a C plus. Their pitching is decent. They have Garrett Whitlock in the bullpen, but this lineup just has Yoshida, Devers, Verdugo, and then not much else. Uh, they're still MLB players, but uh, they uh, are not a contending team right now. Maybe if Marcelo Meyer comes up in a few years or if Tristan Casas, he probably won't be on the starting roster, but he'll make a big impact soon. And then Brian Bello, I'm pretty sure he's having Tommy John, but he did not look too promising last year, but anything can happen. Okay, then we have the Yankees. Uh, had a really good offseason. Uh, so their lineup I have is Glaber Torres at second. Um, maybe someone else would bat there like Bader, but Bader's injured right now. So uh, Torres at second, Aaron Judge in right, Anthony Rizzo at first, John Carlos Stanton uh, in left, uh, DJ LeMahieu at DH. I think he'll have a bounce back year. Uh, Josh Donaldson at uh, third. Then batting seventh, Harrison Bader's center field. And as I mentioned, uh, Bader is injured right now. Uh, but then Oswald Peraza at short, a prospect coming up, making an impact. And then Jose Trevino at center. That's a pretty solid lineup. And uh, Trevino, platinum glove, gold glove uh, in 2022. Uh, Peraza, solid. And then not to mention, uh, or forgot about... Um, uh, what's his name? Oswaldo Cabrera on their uh, who's like a utility man on their bench and many others. And then they have Anthony Volpe and Jason Dominguez, and then at, uh, as prospects, and then at uh, starting pitcher Garrett Cole, uh, solid. And then they also added Carlos Rodon, who is injured right now. So I gave the Yankees an A because they are a solid team, definitely a playoff contending team, and I think the AL East is possibly the most competitive division in all of baseball. And I think they could, if they all stay healthy for the most part, they could uh, 
be win the division and make it pretty far in the postseason, if not win the World Series. Okay, now we have the Blue Jays. So um, uh, the Blue Jays are a very interesting team because they have so much raw talent, but they just haven't been able to put it together, mainly because of the bullpen. Um, so we got George Springer in right, uh, Boba Shett at short, um, Vladimir Guerrero Jr. at first, Alejandro Kirk at, uh, at catcher, um, Dalton Varsha, who they acquired in a trade to the D-backs, uh, D giving up their top prospect, Gabriel Moreno. Uh, Dalton Varsha on left, um, Matt Chapman at third, Brandon Belt at DH, Santiago Espinal at second. You could, uh, that's controversial, but I put Espinal, I believe in him. And then Kevin Kiermeyer at center, in center. Uh, then Alec Manoa, and then you also have Kevin Gosman, Jose Barrios, Chris Bassett, newly acquired, acquired. And then I don't know if Kikuchi, you say Kikuchi, will be in the bullpen or if he'll be a fifth starter or something. But I think the only thing that's lacking for the um, Blue Jays is maybe a big power bat on the bench. I know they have like Danny Jansen. But another power bat on the bench and then bullpen help. And if they can get those locked down, they're looking at uh, maybe a World Series in the next five to ten years. Okay, and last team in this video, uh, I got Yandy Diaz at uh, it's the Rays. I got Yandy Diaz at first, uh, Wander Franco at short, uh, Randy Rosarena at left, Brandon Lau at second. Maybe he switches with Yandy or something, but Brandon Lau at second, Isak Paredes at third. Harold Ramirez at DH, Manny Margot in right, and Christian Bethencourt at catcher, and uh, Jose Siri in center. Or, yeah, center field. Uh, and then starting pitcher, I have Shane McClanahan, top 10 pitcher in the MLB, and I think he'll just continue to progress and get better. And uh, I give them a B- minus um, because I think that they are a solid team that, has a lot of underrated players like, um, well, everyone on their offense, I guess, except for Wander Franco. He, everyone knows about Wander. Um, and then their pitching is really solid. I know Tyler Tyler Glass now is injured at the moment, but he'll probably be back by um, mid April, uh, late April, something like that. And then they also have a bunch of other pretty good um, relievers and other pitchers. And then I think what they need is just lots of offense uh, momentum and that kind of thing. So they may be uh, third or fourth in the AL East. And that uh, concludes the video. So please subscribe. As always, uh, I'm trying to get to 1,000 subscribers by April 1st, as I said. Uh, remember to like this video. Leave your comments down below. Um, do you agree with me? Do you disagree? I'd love to know. Uh, turn on the notification bell so you don't don't miss out on any new videos. Um, sh share this video. I um, uh, love to hear other people's thoughts. And uh, thank you for watching. And I will have a lot of, uh, I'll be doing this for each division uh, and releasing one video a day. So stay tuned and thank you for watching. Bye.